So in my previous video, I have already shared with you the metal cage and the coastal mount extension part for the Bandex 2. But in this video, I don't want to only share with you about the Bandex 2, but I want to talk about some lighting setup for 360 cameras, for 360 vloggers. Because the lighting setup is very tricky in the 360 cameras, and I think the design of this invisible light is gonna change your light setup for 360 cameras just like forever. And it just worked harmoniously well with the 1X2 metal cage because I was involved in design of this one and the light. You can see all around the body is a diffuser box. So every light was designed exactly in the diffuser box. There's a button and you can change the temperature of the light. You can change the brightness, the long press. You're gonna see the, the surface of the light. It has light on the front and the back. You can see also see some light from the frame. So it is also a diffuser box and it is from every perspective, it is an invisible light. And you can see compared with the VR30, it is about two thirds of the thickness. And you can change the brightness to brighter and lighter. And you can charge with Type-C port. And here is the char charging port. And on the top and bottom, there is a quarter inch mount and a quarter inch mount. Why is that design? I want to put this light on the side of the camera and also want to put the side on the bottom of the design. You can see it is even thinner compared with the One X2. So it's definitely being visible in the final shot. And with the diffuser box design, there will be no artifacts in the stitching line. So this is going to be a very, very interesting light setup for the 360 camera. Not only One X2, but One X, Cool MAK and many other cameras. So how to make the full advantage of this light? Convert in your selfie stick, you can see, you can casticate the light with the camera. But you have a hole on the camera and this light at the same time, this is where we're gonna need this male-to-male -male quarter inch converter. I have shared with you this uh, accessory with in my previous video. This accessory was removed from the uh, magical arm designed by Eurig. The depth of the depth of the screw was perfect aligned with the Industry Sequence X camera, as you can see. So when you fully align with the camera, they perfect align and they tighten it to each other. It is just a great. So in the final shot, they're gonna be totally invisible and everything will be rock stable. So this is a prototype of this light, and I'm gonna share with you some of the great features. And you can see this is gonna be definitely be visible in the final shot. It will not block the battery with a single light casticate setup. This is one of the use cases of this invisible light. And here I'm gonna show you another one. Here is the width, the metal cage. As you can see that on the top of the frame, there is a metal cage. So that is where you can put the light on the top of this metal cage to make this light invisible in the final shot. You can use this adapter as a quarter inch mount or coach mount, but I think uh, this, this one is a, a little bit bigger because it will be visible, but I'm gonna have a better, a better setup in the final edition. Here you can put this one on the top of the metal cage. Boom, what did you see? So did you see that now? This is gonna be invisible in the final shot. So this is where we're gonna take the full advantage of the coastal mount on the top. And on the side also, uh, although there's only a one of the coastal mount on the side, but with this invisible light, everything will be possible. Okay, do you see that? Right that, and gonna from the view from the top, the light is actually exactly the same thickness with the metal cage. So this is where we're gonna light up your situation on the front and back at the same time. At the same time, it will not create some artifacts in your stitching area. And also you can use the light as a, a single light because with this button, you're gonna tap this one time, you can see you're gonna turn off this, this surface and only use that as a single light. And tap that again, you turn on that light, that up and turn off this side. Turn it off. Okay, turn both sides on. So this is a very interesting design and with the diffuser box design, uh, this is gonna be a very interesting invisible line for 360 cameras. Not only for One X2, but for all the 360 cameras. And I think it will 
help you have a much more interesting life setup in your 360 content creation. And also, I, I know that the Bushman Halo is a very good design, but uh, for one shot 360 consumer level, I still want the, the light to be invisible. This is another step forward in the lighting setup in the 360 camera industry. And I do hope in the future, there are more to come. Uh, such tiny little body with all of surface to have be the all surface to have LED light to light up your situation. So when you vlog with 360 camera in your dark situation, your viewer will enjoy the light setup, but they just will not find where the light come from. So it is very scientific. I'm very glad to share with you this double surface invisible light for the 360 camera industry. Uh, this is only a prototype of the invisible light. In the future, I think Ulanzi is going to put this light into the market and share with all the 360 community and even with more the vloggers because you can have light and the front and back at the same time. If you found this light very useful in your situation, please leave comments and share with me your thoughts your consideration about this light to make this light better so that we can work together to put this light to the market as quickly as possible, as functional, as powerful as possible. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So I love this invisible light. See you next time. Bye.